everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Run and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brownday. And Jennifer, I guess we can say at this point, with these frigid temperatures, winter has arrived. It is here. I don't think there's any doubt. <laughs> and one of the that being said, one of the points I wanted to mention, because we've had a couple instances already where the roads have gotten a little icy, schools have been called off. And I guess that affects you guys in that people aren't able to get out and do their drive-bys as much. Right. And on the show, we always recommend that people get out and look at the houses, drive-by neighborhoods. This really isn't the appropriate time to be doing that. You have to be mm -hmm. cautious of what the weather is. So absolutely what we're telling people now, this is the time to go to the websites and to look at listings online. Right. And that is rbandw.com. That's correct. Um, and one good thing about that is you've got all the listings from the area there, too you've got access to not just the ones that you guys have. Absolutely. From our website you can connect to the local board's website which will give you all the listings in Eastern Kentucky. We cover about 16 counties so there should be plenty on there for people to look through. All right, and we picked five of the best today. We did, absolutely. Okay. Well, let's start out with this one. It's a brand new listing for you. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new listing, and I'm excited about this listing because this is a lot of square footage for a really good price. You're not kidding. I'm seeing right off the bat, top of the page, I'm looking at four bedrooms, two and a half bath, mm -hmm. two story home. Yes, that is correct. And I'm sure the people are looking at the pictures right now. You can see how attractive this home is. It's got a really, really nice layout to it. And like you said, it's a four bedroom, which gives you about 2,200 square feet of living space. And the location is convenient also. Mm -hmm. It's on Cowpen Road, which is just north of Pikeville. Correct. As you go through Coal Run at the mm -hmm. last red light, if you're coming from Pikeville, you're going to take a right right there on Calpin Road, and this house sits about a mile and a half up on your left. And then if you look at that picture, it just it just says country living. You know, it's got that big front porch on the front with the columns. I mean, it's beautiful to look at. Absolutely it is and then we don't have a picture of the back but you do have a large rear deck. Mm -hmm. You've got yard space that comes with a swing set so it is already set up and ready for you to move in. And then looking at the interior pictures mm -hmm. um, you, you said when we were talking earlier a lot of updates mm -hmm. that the previous or the current owner that's wanting to sell it have done. Absolutely. It's got hardwood flooring. It's got mm -hmm. some newer paint. Um, it does have a really nice brick fireplace in the family room. They've done some updates to the kitchen area. So again, this house just has a lot of things going for it at a great price. And that price is, we mm -hmm. might as well tell you, $179,000 uh, for this home, 2,200 square foot four bedrooms, two and a half bath. And this is your listing? This is my listing. They can call me in the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. All right. And when you do call Jennifer or mm -hmm. email her, uh, mention that it's 106408. That is the specific listing number for that home. Okay. All right. Now, moving along, this is another one that we want to talk about. This one's out in the in Pike County, but mm -hmm. closer to the Williamson area. Yes, this one's going out on the 119 area mm -hmm. um, in the Sydney Hatfield direction. And, you know, it's as far as location, that's convenient to anybody who travels 119 a lot. Correct. Who wants to go to Pikeville or Belfry. This is somebody who wants land. That's what's going for this property. How much land? 225 acres. <laughs> Which you know me, that makes me smile. Yes, absolutely. And you do, I know everybody's asking, okay, but how much of that can I actually use? There's about two to four acres flat. There are two dwellings on this property, so that flat land kind of surrounds the dwellings. There are multiple flats throughout the property um, that are not included in that. They so could you easily could, be used. Yeah, you could clear that Absolutely. and create a little, a little neighborhood or a little mini subdivision. You could. But with this price and with this listing she mentioned, you do have, it looks like a double wide on the property. Mm -hmm. So two things pop into my mind, either rental mm -hmm. possibilities or like you said, a lot of people have extended families who have to be close to them for medical or whatever reasons. You get two dwellings with this property. So you get the double wide. It's a 2000 Redmond double wide, three bedroom, two bath. But you also get the main house, which is a brick ranch, three bedroom, two bath home. And it's got the original hardwood. It's got a full basement underneath it that's unfinished with a workshop. You have a lot of space to play with here. So anybody who likes the country living, likes to be out, and has the dream of, of 
gardens or mm -hmm. whatever it may be, even hiking or anything. On 225 acres, hunting, ATV, there's yes. so many things you can do yes. with that. And it comes with a barn. So add to that list if you wanted to do horses or something like that, you can also do that. Wow. So here I'm thinking 225 acres, mm -hmm. a house, a double wide, and a barn. Okay, here's where we're going to surprise you. $260,000 for everything that we just talked about. That's correct. So if somebody wants to call you and they're grabbing for their phone right now, mm -hmm. uh, let's give your email address. I think we've already given your phone number. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, give her a call. I bet you this one won't last long. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> one zero five seven four four is that MLS number that will bring that house and property right up. All right, moving along, let's come back into Pikeville. This okay. one's recently been reduced. Yes, this is a recent reduction. We have talked about this house before, but we always like to let people know when the property's been reduced, mm -hmm. that the price has changed, that kind of stuff. So that's why this one is is with us today. And this one is on Cedar <coughs> Creek, uh, which is a very popular neighborhood mm -hmm. in Pikeville. But the w the one thing I like about this one is it's off on a little cul-de-sac kind of. It's exactly. off of Honeysuckle Drive. Mm -hmm. Which gives you a little bit of the privacy. It gives you a little bit more of a quiet atmosphere, but you're still in that area of Cedar Creek where you have have, you know, the good resale value mm -hmm. and you have a lot of that that comes with the Cedar Creek name. And then on the inside, I mm -hmm. mean, you're looking at, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. I love this, this the sunroom. Yes. is one of my favorite aspects of this. Yes. I didn't include a picture, an interior picture of the sunroom this time, but you can see it on the rear picture. Mm -hmm. You can see the sunroom that looks out on the backyard and then you have the back patio out there. The whole back portion of that house with the windows is the sunroom. And that's great for this time of year. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to go out on a snowy day and watch. I know there's a lot of wildlife, birds and things like that in the area you can watch. But yet, you're still got the warmth and the comfort. Looks like you're still in the heat. <laughs> That's right. You know, and another attractive feature on this house is a large master suite. Yes, it has a master suite. You've got a master bathroom. You also have a sitting area off that with a private tub and that kind of stuff. The master ba or the master bathroom and bedroom in this one really kind of makes the house. It really makes it a very exquisite looking home. You know, and then, of course, this time of year, we're going to tell you when you have a fireplace. Yes. And this one has a very nice fireplace. It does have a fireplace in the family room. It's a brick fireplace, and then it's got all kinds of wood built-ins in there that really make it feel very homey. Well, if anything that we've just said about this home on Cedar Creek in Pikeville makes you want to look at it, give Jennifer a call. Please. And that number? <laughs> that number is 606-437-2333. And the price on this one, we said it was just reduced. It was reduced to $320,000. And for all you're getting in the location, that's a great price. It's a great price on that one. 104973 is the number for that home. So give Jennifer a call, shoot her an email, and we'll get your, your showing scheduled right away. Absolutely. Okay, now this one we're going to talk about is another new listing that you have. Mm -hmm. This is a new listing, and I'm excited about this one. And again, I've talked a lot about price today, so I hate to keep saying it, but this is a really good price on a house of this size. And it's a good location. It's convenient. Mm -hmm. It's on Biggs Branch, which is not far. Actually, let's say it's six and a half miles from US 23. Right. But off of Route 460, it's only a half, one and a half miles. Correct. You know, and I see three bedrooms, two mm -hmm. full baths. Um, and one of those is in the master. Correct. Correct. It does have a, a specific master bedroom, has a walk-in closet, mm -hmm. a master bathroom, a nice size master bedroom, and then it's got a very large kitchen. I included a picture of it um, in the pictures that everybody's seeing, and you can tell how large it is. It's got a built-in kind of bar area where mm -hmm. people can eat breakfast. It has a nook area, and then it also has a pantry. Really nice size kitchen. Which is great for, you know, the season that we just came out of. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're going to have family gatherings and get-togethers, which, of course, we've got big Easter dinner to look forward to. Exactly. Not too far away. Exactly. But it seems like to me that those homes with this open floor plan are very attractive mm -hmm. because you can do so much with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, this is one that is probably going to have a little bit of work done to it by whoever moves into it, but it's work that it's pretty much cosmetic. You're going to go in, you mm -hmm. may change some carpet or you may do some painting, which gives you the opportunity to customize the home right. to what you like. And then too, when, when you're looking at the price, 
you've got a budget, and everybody, when they buy a home, they're going to come to you and say, this is my budget. Correct. Well, with this one, you can still stay within your budget and then have a little bit of a cushion space to spend some money to make it your own. Exactly, exactly. And there's multiple things on this one that you have room to do if you wanted to. There's a room that they've built in over the garage that mm -hmm. is kind of an unfinished room, would make a great office, would make a great utility space if you wanted to enlarge your washer and dryer area. And then also, there is a house next to it that was in the process of getting built. Now, this is not by any means a finished house, but it is a large shell of a house. If somebody wanted to finish it, they could, or they could tear it down and have a really nice size yard. So there's two options that those project-minded people exactly. are right now thinking, hmm, <laughs> and, you know, they can get this and get two houses. I just have to finish the second one. Right. Um, or like you said, just have this great yard space. Yes, it's and it honestly is open for whatever you would want to do with it. Definitely one to look at, and, and we haven't said the price on purpose because I want to. I wish I could see their faces. Yeah. <laughs> because everything we just told you about is only one twenty-three five, one hundred twenty-three thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, for this house just off of 460 at Biggs Branch. That's correct. All right. So let's uh, talk about your email address real quick. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now the number on this one is 106429. And we stress that MLS number because that is the house number for that house, which will let you pull it up that much quicker. Exactly. Okay. Now we mentioned Elkhorn City a few mm -hmm. minutes ago, and this is another listing convenient to that area. Yes, it is. This one is in the Ash Camp area. So again, we like to tell where kind of where it's mm -hmm. located. If you do anything in the Letcher County area, Pike County area, Elkhorn area, this is a great location for anybody traveling those directions. And if and if you're familiar with this area, you know Elkhorn Creek is mm -hmm. the is the road that runs between the Jenkins area in Elkhorn City. Right. And it's it's a not a bad road to travel. Not at all. Not at all. You know, a lot of people in Elkhorn City, when they have to go south uh, on US-23, they'll just cut straight through Elkhorn mm -hmm. Creek because it's a lot shorter. It is. And this is right in that area. Mm -hmm. This is right in that area, right off Sycamore Road, mm -hmm. which if you're familiar with that area, you'll know exactly where that is. Um, and again, this is one we have talked about before. But this is just an exciting listing, so I wanted to make sure and bring it back so that we could discuss it again. I mean, and if you're looking at the pictures, I mean, it's a very modern-looking home, um, and it's huge. It's 3,600 square feet. That's correct. Or a little better than that. Yeah, it's a little bit more than that, and it was just built in 2008. So it not only looks to be a little bit modern home, it is. It's a, it's a newer construction. Now, this is one that is being sold as is. So there are no guarantees with any of the systems that are there. But you do have an in-ground pool. You do have a hot tub. You have, um, you know, all these extra amenities. We just can't guarantee what condition they're in. But that's where we go back to you recommending a home inspection. Yes, absolutely. We recommend home inspections on any listing that is somebody is interested in purchasing, but especially one that's being sold is absolutely always recommend it. Right. Huge front yard. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things that you can do with this one. Absolutely. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, and then on the second floor. It's all recreational room space, so it's a huge room. If you have kids, if you're a craft person, whatever your want would be, you have plenty of room upstairs for that. All right, and all of that for $199,000. Mm -hmm. This home on the screen, yes, under $200,000. That's correct. And everything that we have talked about today is your listing, mm -hmm. so they can give you a call um, or email you. Either one, or they can always, if they want more information, they can look it up on the website like we discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. So whichever they prefer. All right, this time of year, please remember, if the roads are bad and you're kind of getting cabin fever, it's a great time to get online and take a look at what Red Brown and Williams has to offer. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to step out and we'll do the real estate meeting. In a struggling economy, it's important for potential buyers to understand that you do have options. Buyers need to discuss financing options with their lender and their realtor. It's important that your realtor knows the type of financing you are getting so he or she can show you homes that will meet the necessary requirements. Your time is important and your realtor will want to take advantage of any time you are available to view homes. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Rev. Rana Williams Real Estate Show. Please join us again soon.